Claire, the Frugal Crafter, and as promised, I am back with my recommendations for Christmas gifts for the artists and crafters in your life. So I asked my Ask a Crafter peeps what they wanted to get under the tree this year. So they're um, a variety of lovely people that are crafters and artists, and um, I'm going to go through and share some of the things they would like to get, and also I'm going to make my recommendations for um, different artists and crafters as well. So it can be really hard to buy for somebody that has a hobby. On one hand, it's really easy because you know what they like, but on the other hand, unless you do that craft or hobby too, it can be very difficult. So let's say your husband or your wife or girlfriend, boyfriend is a watercolor artist. Um, you think probably think, well, I don't know what paint they need. I don't know what brushes. Well, the thing with watercolor, your paints and brushes last a very, very long time. What you go through a lot of is paper. So go to the art store, because you may be a little too late if you want to order it online. Um, go to the art store, and um, you'll see a big rack of individual sheets of watercolor paper. Those are beautiful sheets, like from companies like Arches and um, Fabriano and Canson and just loveliness. Hot press, cold press. If you can swing it, get her a sheet of each and um, roll it up in a lovely tube and loosely, <laughs> roll it up loosely and tie a big bow on it and she'll be so happy. He'll be so happy because we go through paper. That's one of those things we just can't do without it for watercolor painters. Now, if you want to do something really extravagant for your watercolor artist, you may uh, purchase them mat cutting tools if they don't already have a mat cutter. I use a, um, no, actually, I'll show you. We got it right, right under here under my bench. Um, I use this. It's a, um, it's a Logan Push Style Model 2000 mat cutter. It's, uh, and it uses two, uh, number 270 blades. This is the bevel cutter that gives you the beautiful window. You'll need a um, metal yardstick to go with it. This was from the um, hardware store. It was a couple dollars. This, uh, the mat cutters, oh, between 20 and 30 bucks. I bought it a long time ago for about 20, so just so you know. And then they have these straight cutters too, which take the same size blades. So make sure you buy extra blades if you want to do that. There are machines that you clamp down and cut mats. Uh, those are great too. Those are much more of an investment, but um, it's great for, you know, as a watercolor artist, um, I do my own framing and it really saves a lot of money and uh, makes it so you can actually sell your work and not have to take a loss just because you have to pay so much to frame it. Um, and also for water media, I've had uh, several people say they wish they would get watercolor pencils under the tree. The, um, the two that were mentioned were Derwent Ink Tense, I-N-K-T-E-N-S-E, I think, <laughs> and um, the Albright Drewer watercolor pencils by Faber-Castell. So those are two fabulous brands. Um, I know they carry the Derwent. Um, at your big box craft stores, so you can use a coupon. So that's another thing. If you're shopping for your crafter and you're going into like Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, those types of places, um, go online and see if there's coupons first, because this time of year, you, I'm seeing a lot of 55% off coupons. So if you're gonna buy a uh, $100 tin of watercolor pencils, it's nice to get it for $45 instead. So, you know, if you're going to a big box craft store, check for coupons. Um, also gelatos or gel sticks, those were also mentioned as a, um, as a want, must want item. Um, one lady said she'd like a shopping spree to her favorite store. So gift card always works too, to either your local art supply store, if you're lucky enough to have one, your local bead shop, your yarn shop, whatever um, store she is or he is into that has the products that they would like. Um, jelly plate. If you have a mixed media artist, um, the jelly plates are very popular. Also our pan pastels, um, gelatos, the watercolor pencils, all those would be great picks for a mixed media artist. And they're consumable, so you know, you use them up, so you can always use more. Um, journals and sketchbooks and things like that are also good too. Um, oh, digital die cutters. If you have a scrapbooker or a card maker in your life, um, digital die cutters were mentioned by several people on my Ask a Crafter video. Um, the, uh, the, most, the one that was mentioned the most was the Cameo by Silhouette, and that is a 12 by 12 cutter, and I think it's um, around $300. Um, they have a slightly smaller one called the Portrait, and that cuts eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Um, I think it's, I think it's maybe 50 bucks cheaper. And there's also the Sizzix um, Eclipse, which I like because you can use software with your computer or you can buy cartridges for it. One lady said she would like to get a Cricut. Um, just make sure that you're getting the appropriate, if you get a Cricut, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of the Cricut because, um, 
you have expensive cartridges and you have um, a company that is very uh, proprietary, proprietary, I guess is what you'd say. They don't like to, they won't let you use it with other software. They won't let you do this, won't let you do that. Um, and the customer service has declined over the last few years. So if you're, if, if I would only buy a Cricut unless, if somebody says I specifically want a Cricut because um, in nickels and dimes, yeah, you can't use it to design your own stuff. Uh, but that's just my two cents. Um, Oh, um, if you have a mixed media artist, a nice set of watercolors would also be good. And uh, like a Windsor and Newton Cotman line is fairly is very affordable and it's a good quality paint. Um, if you have an oil painter in your life, you can always get canvases um, again and, and brushes because with oil paints or acrylic paints, if you have a toll painter, um, you're going to wear your brushes down a lot easier, a lot more often with those mediums. So just go to the craft store or the art supply store and look at the oil painting brushes. Um, it seems to be the smaller brushes that wear out quicker. So you'd want to pick out like the detailer brushes, maybe if they're an acrylic painter, maybe some of the fancy um, you know, special effects brushes like your fan brushes and rakes and deerfoot stipplers and different stuff like that. Um, oh, uh, transfer paper for any um, toll painting artist is good. Somebody that does decorative artist, uh, transfer paper, that stuff, you, you use it up eventually. Um, it's nice to have some extra. Um, you could do a subscription to their favorite magazine. Um, books are good. So there's just a few ideas to get you started. Um, if you have a knitter in your life, I really recommend the Denise Interchangeables. They, um, I just saw that they have these at AC Moore now, and I'm not sure if you can use a coupon on them or not, but um, this is a pricey set. The uh, the crochet set is $45, and the knitting set is 55 I think, and um, they're just wonderful. If you know somebody just getting into knitting or crochet, a set like this will give them almost every size they could possibly need. So um, it's kind of... Um, it's pound wise, you know what I mean? I mean, you're, you'll spend a lot less overall if you start off with a kit like that, if you're a beginner. And, and other than that, they're just fabulous to have because you have everything you need right there. Um, sorry if I'm talking fast. It's chilly in my studio. I haven't hooked up the space heater yet. I did clean though, so I could set, put the space heater on without worrying about a, <laughs> a stack of papers falling on it and catching it on fire. Good grief. Um, and uh, let's see if you have a if you have a sewer in your life. I don't sew very much, so that's kind of a hard one. But if their um, if their cutting mat is getting ratty, you can get them a nice big cutting mat. Um, or maybe you could um, pick up the tab if they want to get their machine serviced. Or yeah, fabric. It's kind of a hard thing to buy like fabric, but maybe like quilting templates or a quilting book or quilting patterns if that's what they like to do. Um, you know, I think that I think that if you think about the person you're getting something for, um, oh, the ink tense pencils that I was mentioning, those watercolor pencils. Um, I know a lot of fabric artists are using those too in their quilts, so that would be fun for a uh, fabric artist quilter as well. Um, so I think that about wraps it up. You know, just um, try to find something that they wouldn't necessarily buy themselves, but would be very fun and useful. And I'm sure you will pick the perfect gift for your artist or crafter on your list. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you get whatever you want under the tree. And um, if you have any suggestions of great gifts to buy a crafter or an artist, leave them in the comments section. Say like, hey, I'm Lindsay. I'm a watercolor painter. I wish I had a water brush or I wish I had this or what I really like is that and then you know we can all learn together we can all get some great advice from each other and then um then we can all send our husbands to watch the video so he'll know what to get us on <laughs> this Christmas I want to thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye Merry Christmas happy crafting